or something. It looks very good. Is that fish and onions? Is this fish? Yeah, fish. Oh man, it looks good. Is this white? Oh man. Exactly. What else did I put on here? Sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, green beans, lettuce, fish. Time to dig in. It's like the one I had last time I was here, but I think this is like custom made twice as big. I don't remember it being this large, but I'm about to go hamburger. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> War. 11 18 this morning <clears throat> running a little late but about to hit this YMCA guys so I'm gonna lift with my cousin it is a squat day so we'll see how the knee holds up in this cold ass weather got a special guest here today this is my cousin Steven who just recently got into lifting but he's been watching my channel and uh, as you can see he lifted with me today you saw me hit 225 for an AMRAP it was supposed to be three sets of five but I kind of just wanted to see what I could do comfortably with 225 and I hit 16 he squatted up to 95 really correcting his form he hasn't been lifting too long but um, I corrected his good morning form as well kind of all new exercises and then we hit high volume lunges his lunge form was actually excellent and you'll see most of our sets here. I didn't film everything, but um, these are two high volume workouts we're going to put up. So yeah, we're going to see a lot from us in the next couple of days. And um, coming up is my high volume squat set. It's 75 pounds for 50 reps and I think you did the bar, right? For like 20, 25 reps or something. Yeah. But anyways, tell them about yourself, how long you've been lifting and stuff. I've been lifting for a month and a week. Yeah, so this kid's, yeah. Only, this kid's only 14 years old and he's, how tall are you? How much do you weigh? 5'10", and I weigh like 157. So that's, in my opinion, a bit above average. When I was his age, I was like 5'7", about 100 pounds. My sister's holding the camera, she could attest to that, but I told her to be quiet. So anyways, um, yeah, this is me finishing up the set, and then we get into the hamstrings off the glute ham raises. Which this was also an exercise for you, right? Getting the uh, yeah. glute hams. And I gave him a few pointers on it. He actually was really sore from it. We both were. So it was a good overall high volume leg workout. But um, you're going to see me, I think this is the first set. 
but we're gonna go into the second one and I kind of explained to him a little bit how to do it so you can just watch that right here it's about to pop in because you can't you know as I'm telling you make the last few reps like 100 100 100 percent you can't do that with every single rep in the gym you know what I'm saying like, yeah your workout will last 10 minutes like if you're training if you're training a sprinter you don't just bring them to a 100 yard meter dash and say all right do 100 yard run as hard as you can that's your training you're going to do 40 yard sprints, you know, 200 yard sprints, so 80 90 percent of your maximum effort. So that's where you want to train. You want to train like 80 90 percent of your effort. But sometimes, bro, you got to go with that 100 percent and really fucking push the growth because. Yeah. All right, guys. So we finished up by hitting three sets of 20 on this, which was super high volume. Then we did like four sets on the leg extensions. Nothing to failure really, but kind of high volume as I usually do. And then we crushed calves and abs, did five or six sets of calf raises and five or six sets of uh, cable crunches, which uh, wiped this out. But that's gonna be it. And we'll be in probably tomorrow with our upper body workout. So that's it, guys. Peace. And a lot of times I can vary my foot position. I feel like scratch the ligaments in the ground quickly. Just like that. It never stops. Come on. Okay, get your feet straight. Get your feet perfectly straight. There you go. Now keep going. Yeah. All right, man. It's heavier now. This is what you should be working with. Yeah.